Good morning. So as you can already tell, we're going to shift things up a little bit for my 6.237 minutes. And I'm going to talk about active living in a bigger picture um, that certainly includes outdoor play. So I hope that was a little bit of a wake-up call. Um, I really grew up with there we go. I really grew up with a passion for active living, even as a little kid in New York City, where I moved every day, and I was very fortunate to have the opportunity at a very young age to um, be exposed and eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables and good uh, food, which is the fuel of being able to let our kids be outside and play. So in Columbus Public Health, health is a lot more than health care. Um, health is all about the choices that you've got and the choices that you make. So it's about the neighborhood and world in which you live. And so if you're in a neighborhood that's without green space, without parks, without places to play, and your parents don't think that the streets are safe and the neighborhood is safe, that makes a lot of difference in some of our neighborhoods in terms of being able to go out and play. An active city is a healthy city. And so much of it has to do with how we design our streets and how we design our neighborhoods. So we focus a lot on the built environment. And we want streets that go two-way and slow down the traffic. We want sidewalks. We want bike lanes. The built environment makes a terrific difference. And of course, again, we really focus a lot on safety because the perception of safety wherever you are, particularly more playing the city mouse as opposed to the country mouse, is gonna make the difference whether our kids wanna go out and play in nature and in parks, but just in their own neighborhoods. It is hard being up here without seeing the slides. Bikeable roads is such a big thing now in the city of Columbus. We're building bike lanes. Have you seen those sharrows on the road that show where the biker can be? Um, we are becoming one of the premier bicycle um, uh, areas in central Ohio. We want to connect up some of the bike paths that exist so that you can go from downtown to Hilliard to Dublin to New Albany and wherever you want to go. So we're working on that really hard. So um, every day when children are, are at play, it makes for a great day. And we all know the connection between outdoor play and feeling good and enjoying nature is a powerful force. And those safe streets and those safe neighborhoods continue to be a top priority as we, get, we work really hard to get our kids to grow up with healthier weights and get them moving and have them be healthy. So somebody's already been up here talking about camp. I grew up in a summer camp. I was really lucky in upstate New York. And even back then, every day had a time for free play. So we had our organized activities, but we had time to just be. This group of kids, we actually stopped at the outdoor play to take this photo. So this is the Hilltop YMCA. Very fortunate kids that the Active Living um, Initiative also helped to be there, um, who every day they were there, they took part in nature and they loved what that they were doing. You'll hear the expertise of the real parks guy, John O'Meara, in just a little while, but we all know that neighborhood parks are really the fabric of central Ohio. Our metro parks, by the way, I've heard the number, but I'm going to let John tell you. Um, and our city parks um, are working in such collaboration. I use the Olentangy bike trail all the time, and now it's the Metro Parks folks who help keep it safe um, by having their folks bike and protect us as walkers and everything else. So the Institute for Active Living um, focuses on two things um, in particular and that's bicycling, and it's also um, uh, community gardens. So as you see these kids biking, um, I know growing up in New York City, my dad taught me to bike in our apartment building hall. It was a narrow hall, and yet somehow my, he let me go, and eventually 
I went down the hall, and then I went to my schoolyard at PS 187, and that first time I ever biked on my own, set, set up my life in terms of being an avid cyclist. How many people here, here have heard of Bike Columbus in the city, the ride we do? Yay! So 2012, the bicentennial, it's going to be better than ever. The last slides are about our access to fresh food. You know, our kids can't be good and have fun at outdoor play unless they have the fuel inside them, the good food, produce, and, and things like that to uh, be able to move and feel good while they're running around. And uh, so when we talk about community gardens, which is another thing that's a great focus to, community gardens are one of the best two-for-ones that we've got in active living because they're about physical activity and they're about um, great food. So how many gardeners do we have in the room? Anybody grow a backyard garden? Okay, me too. We know that by the time we till and we plant and we weed and we harvest and we clean up, that we've got some sore muscles. But then there's the, la the, the fruits of our labor, which is great produce. So we're very focused in Columbus to one day get to 500 community gardens. We have 250 now. But that is really a way related to nature that our kids and families can have that kind of fun.